First of all, we need to know our max render resolution on each project. We just start with a resolution we think our GPU cannot handle, looking for the frame that has the longest render time, and start rendering. If it finishes, increase resolution and render again, and repeat that until your GPU shows an error, no matter which one. The key is to know GPU max render resolution as precise as possible. In this case, screen recording and Blender crashed at 1204 x 670 pixels. Now we can set up SRT. First set a resolution that your GPU can't handle, in this case 2K. Enable SRT and select split render method if necessary. Here you will find command line render buttons and next to them UI render, which has no progress update at all and Blender UI is blocked until render finished. First select split method. Denoise node, which is faster and recommended, or render borders, which is the old method. Set number of tiles. Presets are manual only for denoise method, but allows faster renders. You can preview the tile size and remember, never hide the max render resolution at the beginning. Use composition nodes instead of render final images. It creates one group node or multi-layer file for each enabled view layer and has all its output passes. For compositing high resolutions, use mute denoise nodes and disable use nodes for UI speedup. If disabled, SRT will render a final image per view layer. You can render each pass separately, or just one EXR multi-layer file per view layer. If separate passes is disabled, you can create a folder for each view layer and if separate passes is enabled, you can create a folder for each pass. By default, at the end, tiles, borders and merge composition project are not removed, but you can change it. Default output is a folder called as the project in the same location and SRT in the name, but you can use Blender's output instead. By default, SRT will skip already rendered tiles, but you can overwrite them if you want. Persistent data Blender setting is just a shortcut. If system or blender hangs up, disable it. Now we can start rendering. Command line will be copied to the clipboard. Select if you want to open CMD or terminal automatically. Blender project will be saved, and it will close automatically. Now command line is in clipboard, so just paste it and hit enter. When render is finished, a new Blender file is created in output folder along the tiles and borders. You will find one group per view layer with all its output passes. Inside each group, all tiles with its passes are mixed. From here just add alpha over nodes to mix them and start compositing as usual. There is a button to mute and unmute all the noise nodes at the same time. It is useful at high resolutions to have smooth Blender UI. 